Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question as three. That is, why should we perform software testing? Let me answer this question. There are several reasons why software testers have to perform software testing. Let me list down all these reasons one by one for you. Here. The first reason why software testers have to perform software testing is to check whether the developed software, okay, the developers will develop a software. That particular developed software is according to the client requirements or not. Okay, this is the first reason why software testers will perform testing. To check whether the developed software developed by the developers is according to the client requirements or not. The second reason is to detect or identify. Okay, to detect or identify defects in the software. Some functionalities of the software may not work. To identify such kind of defects, software testers have to perform testing. So here there is one interesting thing. That is why a software tester has to identify defects. Why developers cannot identify the defects. The reason here is the one who creates the software or one who develops the software may be in an assumption that they are not doing the mistake. Okay. So everyone makes mistakes and they cannot find their own mistakes by themselves because they believe that whatever they have written, the code that has been written for developing the code is 100% correct. They will believe. That's the reason, guys. Developers cannot find defects by themselves. There comes software testers who will test the software with an intention of identifying the defects which developers cannot identify okay fine this is the reason guys to identify the defects in the software software testers will perform software testing that is the second reason third reason is to improve quality of the software we perform software testing software testers will perform software testing to improve the quality of the software how so when software testers perform testing they will identify the defects and not only identify the defects, they will report this particular defects to the developers. And once the developers fix the defects, again, the software testers have to reconfirm whether those particular defects are fixed or not by developers. By doing this process, ultimately, the quality of the software will rise because the number of defects or problems in the software will get reduced. So software testing is performed to improve the quality of the software. That is the third reason. Fourth reason I can give you here is to make sure whether the developed software is as per user needs or not. You see, the software that is developed may be 100% according to the, may be developed according to the 100% given client requirements, it may be exactly matching. But whether the real users, okay, whether the real users can use the software or not is something very important, guys, okay. According to the client requirements is one thing, but whether the developed software is according to the user needs or not, whether it is solving the needs of the user or not, that point of way also the software testing need to be performed. Okay. So this is another reason why software testing need to be performed to see whether the developed software can be used by the real users in real time or not. Okay. Before releasing the software into the market, we have to check this. That's why software testing is performed. Now, another reason. Okay. Another reason why software testing need to be performed. The another reason we have here is ease of use. Okay, ease of use is another reason. Guys. So it's not only about the working of the software or uh, whether the software is developed according to the client requirements and as per the user needs and kind of is good. But if the given or developed software is easy for the users to use or not, if it is very difficult, users will not use it, right? If the software is very complex and they cannot use it, they will not use it. The real end users cannot use it. Okay. So we have to check whether the developed software is easy for general use of the users or not. Okay. And not only this much, guys, one more thing is also there. A lot of other things we have to check, guys. Okay. A lot of other things in the software we have to check or test. We have to perform testing on the software to see whether the performance of the software is good or not. Okay. You see, if the, if the 
developed application or software is kind of very slow the users will not like our using okay they will stop using it because the application is slow they will stop using it okay performance is also important like that not only performance guys we have to see the security whether the developed software is secured or not okay if it's not secured you see the users will lose all their uh, sensitive information like uh, all the like sensitive information passwords and you know right important uh, uh, identification proofs and all those stuff like credit card numbers etc cetera, etc cetera, right so have to see whether the application is secured or not so not only this performance security guys lot of things will come into picture okay this is what are the high level reasons why we have to perform software testing okay you see lot of reasons will come here these are the important reasons i mentioned here right because of these reasons we have to perform software testing so hope guys you got the answer for this question see you in the next interview question thank you bye